Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm doing a three looks, one palette. Well, today I'm doing one look, but the next two days I'll be doing two more looks to make this video, which is gonna be three looks with the September Rose Slush Palette. So if you've never heard of September Rose, they are an indie company, black owned and based in the UK. And their eyeshadows are actually very affordable and a really, really great quality. The Slush Palette has a lot of bright, colors. Uh, they're not all matte. There are, I'd say almost half of them are shimmers. And um, there's one that's kind of a matte with some shimmer in it. But I really, really like these shades. I've used them quite a bit. I use them a lot in my Halloween series and in a lot of other videos. I have seen people compare this to the new ColourPop one that just came out. Or it's not out yet as I'm filming this, but it's probably going to be out when this goes live because ColourPop is pretty quick. But if you want that kind of palette and want to support a small business, then um, go for this one. So I like using the KVD Shake Primer with any kind of bright eyeshadow. It really helps it to stand out. And I'm going to go for some of the orange shades in the palette because I have this lipstick I want to use from Colored Rain. It is the Electric Rain shade and it's a pretty bright orange. just did that video, I uploaded it a couple days ago, where I used liquid lipstick as eyeshadow. And that, the blue Liquid lipstick came off, but I used a black liquid lipstick as a eyeliner and that did not want to come off, so there's still some flex. <laughs> I'm gonna go into some of these orange shades. The first one that I'm gonna use is Peach Lemonade. I, it's really hard for me to see those if you've never seen my videos before, so I'll put a picture up here and like circle which shade I'm using. Some of these shades are a little more on the pastel side. But this Shake Primer really helps them to show up. This is just, what I've got on now is just one dip into the shadow. Like, not one dab, you know, it's like, I got it quite a bit on the brush, but it still went a long way. And peach lemonade is actually like one of my favorite things. Like peach or mango, anything, I will like it. And this color is so amazing. Wow. I think I'm going to take the shade uh, almost at the bottom of that row called Tropical Fruit. This is a shimmer and I want to put that underneath of there. This is a really pretty shade as well. I'm going to blend that up where I didn't bring that orange all the way over. And something I just wanted to mention real quick, I got a few new subscribers from my declutter videos, so thank you, hello. Okay, and I see I left a spot right along my lash line. And I'm taking the shade Tiger's Blood. It's on the bottom row of that column that we're working with. And I'm just gonna put that under there where that little gap is. It's kind of look a little monochrome. I'm gonna go over to the shade Bubblegum. It's that shimmery, icy kind of white. I'm gonna put that on the inner part right here just to kind of bring a little bit more to it. I feel like that's almost a duochrome. Like it kind of has a bluish purpley shift. I don't know if that's even gonna pick up on camera in the middle. I'm gonna try to apply this with my finger. I've never tried that with this shade. Ooh, yeah, that worked. A lot of shimmers, if you apply them with your finger, uh, they work a little bit better, a little more pigmented. Then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, wipe it off, and then get that, I got a little messy there, so I'm just taking that off. And I really like the shade Orange Soda, so I'm going to take that on brush that I used from my lower lash line and do that. Just kind of bring some more orange back in because it's getting a little pink. And I think I'm going to take one of these fluffy brushes and go back into Tiger's Blood and deepen up this part right here because it's a little, everything's looking a little blended together. I was looking to maybe take one of those dark purpley ones. I don't think that would go well, but I'm just going to stick with this red. All right, here's the eyes done. I put mascara on and then I went to take a picture and I was like, oh, they look really good. And then I took the picture and then my lashes just went boop. This is the Colored Rain. Amazing 
wait, no, this is the Colored Rain Electric Rain Matte Lip Paint. And I already exfoliated my lips. I actually remembered to do that before I applied this. <laughs> Sometimes I don't remember to do that and then it just looks terrible. So these are like super duper drying, like nail polish almost, like not really nail polish, but you know what I mean? They're just that matte. I'm gonna leave my mouth open, let it dry. I really like this color. I thought orange would be too much, but it's all right. And here is look number one done. I'll do two more in this video. I'm not sure what direction I wanna go. I know today's was inspired by the scrunchie. I was like, well, I have this orange lipstick as well that I wanna use, so I went with orange eyeshadows. Let's go on to look number two. I have an idea for this one. I just looked at the palette before I started filming instead of making it up as I went along. So there are, let's see if I can point to this without messing it up. So I think I'm gonna use this green, the blue, and the purple in kind of a cut crease situation, but I don't know what shade I'm gonna put on the lid. Maybe I'll just use that bubblegum shade, which is that silvery kind of white color. I'm gonna start with this green called Lemon and Lime. I really, really like this color. It is very bold and vibrant. It's kind of like an acid green. I blended that and then I'm going and packing back over it to brighten it up. I'm kind of being a little messy with this step just because I am going to cut the crease so it's going to cover up a lot of the mistake. I'm going into the shade Blue Hawaiian and putting that right next door. I'm kind of blending that back into the green. Those look kind of cool over top of that green. Like I would almost use just these two colors by themselves. I do a lot of like just two color looks. I keep wiping off the same brush because I don't want to get another one out. And I'm going to take this purple called raspberry and I want to put that on this outer part right here. Like I said before, I don't, I don't know if it was this video or another one, but I am kind of going for a more rounded shape on this outside just because I feel like it looks better with my eye shape and just my facial structure instead of like winging everything out like that because it kind of looks messy. This eyeshadow I fully like you look at it and you expect it to smell like grapes but it does not. Taking that over onto the lid just a little bit. I should have put a little bit more primer out this way because it's not quite as intense as I would like it to be. Okay I'm actually really liking this color gradient thing I've got going on. I think since that primer is so bright, I'm not going to actually cut the crease. Um, i trying to find, I can never find this brush, it's always hiding in there. So I'm gonna take that bubblegum shade and pack it on the actual lid. And then that's kind of got a little bit of fallout so I'm going to take that brush, that other brush, and wipe it off, get the cat hair off of it, and then smooth out the edge of that white shadow. I just realized I've been shopping on like the Black Friday sales and uh, I had mostly bought eyeshadow and like very few lipsticks so I'm like, um, so we've done a lot of eyeshadow looks. Like I don't even think I bought any kind of face products at all. But I've also promised myself that I am not buying anything else, so um, it's fine. I've got enough face products for now, I think. You know what? There's always going to be another sale. Like most of these brands that I've bought from have had sales before. It's not like this was the only time. Okay, now what am I doing with the lower lash line? That's a question. I will continue the purple. Take that blue. Am I in focus? I'm going to take that blue and do the rest. Okay, yeah, that was a good choice. Here is the finished eye look. I'm actually really, really happy how this turned out. It was pretty much how I expected, except I didn't actually take another like concealer or something and cut my crease, but I think it still turned out pretty well. I kind of would want to use one that I haven't used yet, like one of these new ones, but none of them would really go. 
kind of feeling KVD Lolita. Anybody else, when you know how like if you do your eyeliner and it's uneven and you keep adding to it? I do that with my lipstick like on the top. <laughs> I'll keep like the side's uneven, I'll fix it, and it's higher than this side, and I'll try to fix that, and then it ends up a mess. So this is look number two, now on to number three. So it's the same day. I decided to film another look today, so I took my hair down, changed my shirt, and I have the same face makeup on. I just took my eye makeup and lipstick off, so that's where we're at. I'm gonna go for those pink shades today. I think I'm gonna go for the top left, which is cotton candy. I'm gonna go for a more slightly wing shape. You can clearly see where I missed the inner corner with the eyeshadow primer. Kind of fixed it a little bit by just blending over it. It looks thoroughly messy. I'm gonna go into a couple shades down called Pink Lemonade on a different brush and go under that. Oh yeah, my eyes are gonna be nice and pink tomorrow. A couple things I've ordered from early Black Friday sales have came in today. So I've got a few more palettes to do a three looks video with. Let me know if you guys like these, like three looks, one palette videos or like just one look in a video. So I always forget about doing videos for Instagram too, so I can do like shorter videos with one palette. I did get one bigger palette that would I would probably do like a 10 looks one palette with. It has 30 shades. I've actually been looking at it forever. It's the Ice Cream Dream from Glam Light. Well, not really forever because it's a new release, but ever since it came out, I was like, oh, I want that. I'm gonna go into the one right below that called Cherry Limeade. It's more of a purple. Purple shadows tend to be really stiff. I had to dig into that quite a bit. So I'm gonna put that on my lid where there's that empty space. And I'm also gonna put that Cherry Limeade, Limeade? Yeah, Limeade, in the lower lash line. I'm gonna take that brush that I used for the first color and go into that white coconut milk and blend this here in the middle because I kinda gonna mess that up. Then I'm gonna take my handy dandy flat brush and go into what's this called? A strawberry. Even though it looks like a lavender, but uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call that strawberry, but whatever. I'm gonna put that on the lid. Kind of a purple tint to it and it's falling out into my eyelashes. That's what I like about shimmers. You can put them over another color and it's totally different. And I think I, sometimes it's works, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm gonna try to clean up this edge. It's hard to do that on camera, so I'll be right back. All right, here is the eye look done. I cleaned up the edges and put mascara on. What lipstick do I want? I do have a hot, hot pink, but I think that would be a little too much. Maybe this Copenhagen from NYX. All right, this is as good as we're gonna get. That was it, that was three looks with the September Rose slush palette. Let me know what you guys think, if you have any more suggestions or wanna see any more looks with any of the colors. And again, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see with palettes, like do you wanna see, like I'm not really that great at swatches, but I can try. Um, so if you like the three looks one palette or just individual looks like full face even because these I just try to keep it short and only do the eyeshadow. Click over here to watch my most recent video or click over here to watch my tutorial with the brew palette from September Rose. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss seeing my face in your subscription box every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And the links to any products that I mentioned and my social media will be in the description box below and I will see you guys in the comments. Bye.